Hello all, welcome to this video. Here we will discuss a few multiple choice questions on the chapter Astronomy from Indian Knowledge System. So let us start. The first question is, what is the purpose of a Nadi Valaya in the Indian astronomical context? The given options are A. To measure the angular height of the sun B. To set the cardinal direction C. To measure the position of the moon D. To determine the time of sunrise To answer this question correctly, we may recall the Nadi Valaya is an ancient Indian astronomical instrument measuring the angular height of the sun was a primary function of the Nadi Valaya in the astronomical observation and therefore the correct answer to this question is option A Nadi Valaya was used to measure the angular height of the sun. Next question is which astronomical instrument is represented by a large wooden circular disc divided into 60 ghatikas and 12 signs of the ecliptic. The given options are option A Shanku, option B Nadi Valaya, option C Chakra Yantra, option D Jantar Mantar. Here we may recall the Nadi Valaya is an ancient Indian astronomical instrument consisting of a large wooden circular disc divided into segments representing 60 ghatikas that is time units and 12 zodiac signs. This instrument was used primarily for timekeeping and determining the position of the sun. The division into 60 ghatikas allowed for the measurement of the time intervals. This helped in timekeeping and astronomical observations. The division into 12 signs facilitated the observation of the sun's apparent motion along the zodiac throughout the year. And therefore, the correct answer of this question is yes, you guessed it right. Nadi Valai is an astronomical instrument represented by a large wooden circular disc divided into 60 ghatikas and 12 signs of the ecliptic. Next question is, who is credited with the construction of the Jantar Mantra observatories in India? Option A. Aryabhatta. Option B. Nilkant Somayaji. Option C. Raja Jaising Savai. Option D. Siddhanta Shiromani. Here we may recall Raja Jaising Savai was a renowned king and astronomer who ruled in the early 18th century. He had a keen interest in astronomy. Recognizing the importance of accurate astronomical observations for various purposes including timekeeping, calendar making and astronomical predictions, Raja Jaising Savai commissioned the construction of several astronomical observatories across the India. The Jantar Mantra observatories built in various cities such as Delhi, Jaipur, Ujjain, Mathura and Varanasi were constructed under his patronage. These observatories featured large scale astronomical instruments designed to measure time, track the movement of celestial bodies and conduct various astronomical observations. And therefore, the correct answer that who credited with the construction of Jantar Mantra observatory in India is option C Raja Jai Singh Savai. Next question is what was the primary motivation behind Raja Jai Singh Savai's construction of the Jantar Mantra observatories? Option A to create a tourist attraction. Option B to conduct large scale astronomical observations. Option C to showcase India's architectural prowess. And option D to provide a venue for royal ceremonies. Raja Jai Singh Savai had a deep interest in astronomy and recognized the importance of accurate astronomical observations for various purposes that includes timekeeping, calendar making and astronomical predictions. To facilitate these observations, he commissioned the construction of several observatories across different cities in India. Collectively, they are known as Jantar Mantar observatories. And therefore, the correct answer that the motivation of constructing Jantar Mantra observatories was to conduct large scale astronomical observations. Next question is, how did Raja Jai Singh Savai's approach to build astronomical instruments differ from European practices of his time? Option A, he prioritized aesthetics over functionality. Option B, he aimed to build sturdy large scale instruments. Option C, he focused on creating smaller, 
more portable instruments and option D he incorporated only traditional Indian techniques. During Raja Jai Singh Savai's era, European astronomers often focused on creating smaller, more portable instruments. These instruments could be easily transported for field observations or used in personal observatories. In contrast, Raja Jai Singh Savai's vision for the observatories involved constructing large-scale instruments that were sturdy and robust. These instruments were not intended to be portable but rather to be permanently installed. Their large size allowed for greater accuracy and precision in astronomical observations. With this discussion, the correct answer to this question is he aimed to build sturdy large scale instruments. Next question is in the context of Indian Panchanga system, what is the significance of dividing the Ahargana by 7? The given options are option A, it establishes the day of the week, option B, it determines the length of the lunar month, option C, it calculates the position of the moon in its orbit and option D, it measures the angular height of the sun. The Ahargana is a term used in Indian astronomy to represent the number of solar days elapsed since a specific epoch. By dividing the Ahargana by 7, astronomers could determine the reminder which corresponds to the day of the week according to the Indian week cycle. And therefore, the correct answer to this question is Ahargana was divided by 7 because of it establishes the day of the week and that is option A. Next question is how does the Chakra Yantra aid in astronomical observations? Option A by measuring the position of the stars. Option B by calculating the duration of the solar eclipse. Option C by tracking the movement of the comets. And option D by determining the right ascension and declination of the celestial bodies observed at night. The Chakra Yantra allows astronomers to measure the positions of celestial bodies in terms of right ascension and declination. It consists of a circular disk with markings representing celestial coordinates. By aligning the Chakra Yantra with a particular celestial object and reading off the corresponding markings, astronomers could determine its right ascension and declination. This information was crucial for cataloging stars, planets and other celestial bodies as well as for navigation, timekeeping and other various astronomical calculations. And therefore, the correct answer to this question that the Chakra Yantra aid in astronomical observations by determining the right ascension and declination of celestial bodies observed at night and that is the option D. Next question is, what was the significance of the astronomical instruments gifted to the Prince of Wales by the Maharaja of Banaras? Option A, they were replicas of European instruments. Option B, they were based on the descriptions from the Siddhanta Shiromani. Option C, they were used for decorative purposes only and option D they were modern inventions not found in traditional Indian astronomy. The Siddhanta Shiromani is a major astronomical tortoise composed by the Indian mathematician and astronomer Bhaskaracharya II in the 12th century. It covers various topics related to astronomy including planetary motion, eclipses and timekeeping. The Maharaja of Banaras aimed to showcase the rich astronomical heritage of India and its traditional knowledge in the field of astronomy. These instruments would have been crafted to reflect the principles and methodologies outlined in the Siddhanta Shiromani, thereby highlighting the accuracy and sophistication of Indian astronomical practices. And therefore, the correct answer to this question is the astronomical instruments gifted to the Prince of Wales by the Maharaja of Banaras was they were based on the descriptions from the Siddhanta Shiromani option B. Next question is which instrument was used for determining the altitude of the sun in ancient India? Option A Falak Yantra, Option D Nadi Valaya, Option C Gola Yantra, Option D Water Clock that is Ghati Yantra. Nadi Valaya was used primarily for measuring time and indicating the equinoxes. Gola Yantra or the armillary sphere was used 
for various astronomical observations including determining the positions of celestial objects such as stars and planets. The water clock or Ghati Yantra was used for measuring time intervals. The Falak Yantra was an instrument used in ancient India specifically for determining the altitude of the sun and therefore the correct answer to this question is option A Falak Yantra was used for determining the altitude of the sun in ancient India. Next question is what purpose does the Ghati Yantra serve in astronomical observations? Option A measuring the altitude of the stars. Option B determining the time using water flow. Option C tracking the motion of the planets and option D calculating the distance between celestial bodies. In Ghati Yantra water flows from one vessel to another at a constant rate. By observing the level of water in the receiving vessel and the markings indicating time intervals, the passage of the time could be determined. The Ghati Yantra provided a method for measuring time intervals with reasonable accuracy. It allowed astronomers to track the movement of the celestial bodies over time and to schedule observations or events accordingly. And therefore, the purpose of Ghati Yantra in astronomical observations was determining the time interval using water flow and that is option B. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the questions based on astronomy in the syllabus of Indian knowledge system.